We're about to go on a journey together, and I have a feeling that it's going to be peaceful, painful, and positive. So, buckle in. Not warm. Today is a Monday, and we're going to flip the script. Rather than hustling and bustling, we're going to get out and about, do some hiking, immerse ourselves in the beautiful landscape out here. We're going to take a few pit stops along the way. We're going to talk about some of the things that are going on for us right now and try to find some perspective or a little bit of medicine to take away with us for the rest of the day. When it comes to navigating the crazy world that we live in with all of the social media and all of the opinions and all of the algorithms and agendas pushing you this way or that way it's really overwhelming the one remedy that i've found is to get as far away as possible from those things and getting outside is one way to do that because that brings you inside and the way to find my center is to get out to be here in in nature or get into a sauna or get into cold water, anything that brings you into your body and out of your mind because it's the mind that comes up with all of these opinions and ideas and is trying to push them on other people, convince someone of this, convince other people that this is right, wrong or otherwise. But none of that is sustainable because you're always going to find someone with a different opinion to you. And so long as there's someone with a different opinion, there's going to be someone's opinion that you're going to try to change and that's no way to find peace nuts and a banana are my snack of choice today there's always going to be somebody less successful than you that is happier than you and there's always going to be somebody more successful that's less content the point is that success plays a minimal role in long-term happiness or contentment because those are an inside job they don't come from the achievements or the accolades and they don't come from the downfalls either those external things help for like a momentary spike or a momentary dip, but ultimately, if you've got a strong foundation, a sturdy base, your success doesn't really matter because success is an external thing. It's minimal in terms of the impact that it has of your internal environment. It looks so gnarly down there today. It's kind of weird. It looks like there's a boat gone through, but there's not. I have to investigate further. That's where we're headed. We have no signal here, so if I get into trouble, that's it for me. I'm not even concerned about how cold it's going to be. I'm just concerned about the audio. Because if I get home tonight and none of the audio is usable, then it's not really the end of the world. I'll get over it. That's a positive mental attitude. The intention for this day is so that it's chill and relaxing and nourishing, but at the same time, I still have a expectation for it all. Like I still want this video to come out well and for people to enjoy it. And I think that's just a constant dance that I'll be doing with life. And I think that's what we do with life as humans. Like it's just, Finding the balance between just being and surrendering and actually being a practical person that does stuff. Sometimes it's good to play, you know, like sniff the flowers, do a little dance, talk to animals. And then other times you gotta put your thinking cap on and figure out how you're gonna get people to give you money so that you can live and not die in the material world. A true nature lies somewhere in between those two. When I was in my teens, I was very interested in pursuing alternative things like performing arts or creating things, artistry. But 
I didn't have the confidence and I didn't have access to the internet like we do now and because of this I didn't feel there was a lot of encouragement all of the things in the creative and performing arts seemed to be things that you could pursue at a later point and the focus was always on getting a traditional education I think it would have been helpful if I had someone like me to just tell me I can pursue what I want to pursue now and that if I don't wait and I just start right now I will be so much better equipped for life and for the creative entrepreneurial journey because the way that I did it didn't really serve me like I haven't used any of my education like most of what I've learned has been in the past like four years from learning on YouTube and just practicing practice is the main teacher because you can have all of the knowledge and theory and understanding of things but if you haven't actually done it in the real world then you haven't done it <laughs> end of story and that's where the true growth and learning happens Gotta be careful for bears here. Somebody asked, if you have lots of different interests and passions, which one do you know to follow? So I think if you have lots of different things that you're interested in, just start pursuing something, just take action. And sooner or later, you'll find that one of those things, you either enjoy it more or one of those things seems to gather momentum and takes off more. So in my example, I'm very passionate about music. I'm also passionate about, you know, performing and content creation. And content creation was gaining momentum for me in that there was people that were interested in it and there was, you know, a surge in my viewership. And so based on that, I decided to double down on that. And it's not to say that the music isn't important, it's just, Right now we're in the seasons, season of content creation and that's where my creative juices are going. But that's also still, you know, fueling the overall artistry that is me, that is David. So don't be afraid that if you follow one thing that you can't follow something else because you can follow them all and it just might not necessarily happen at the same time. When it comes to doing things that are difficult, you just need to do them as fast as possible because your mind is gonna come up with ways to justify not doing the thing. Like, oh, it's not the right time. Oh, they're busy. Oh, I'm not ready. Oh, it's already cold. gotta ignore it the final ooh, question is what's my loftiest goal and what does my ideal day look like oh oh god my ideal day is like this getting out and about, creating, mm, preferably with people that I love and care for. And my loftiest goal is to play my own original music to a crowd of 80,000 people with my shirt off. Wow. It's cold. Uh, subscribe and join my mailing list if you'd like to receive nice positive messages in your inbox. I have meditations in the description. Check them out. Take care of yourself. Ooh. Oh.